Well, hey everybody, I've got some important announcements for the YouTube channel and I wanted to bring you up to speed on everything. We're currently planning the biggest trip we've ever planned down south, really excited about that. We have some new parts today and we're going to be opening a couple of them and we are approaching a milestone on our Instagram, so we're going to be doing a big giveaway there. So stay tuned for details and we'll bring you up to speed. So the first big trip of the year is going to be down to Florida. Ermasi Custom Throttles reached out to us. They absolutely love what we're doing with the YouTube channel and they love the whole Safe Sport Quad movement. So they invited us down and we're going to install a custom throttle on the Raptor when we're down there. We're going to ride with Robert Ermasi. He's going to take us to a couple of his favorite local riding areas and we're definitely going to do a public ride meetup when we're down there. We're planning to do a subscriber ride meetup on Sunday, February 9th at Chrome ATV Park about an hour west of Orlando. Hopefully the weather's good, so we'll see what happens. And on our way back, we'll be passing through Georgia, Tennessee, and Kentucky, and we're hoping to do a few more subscriber ride meetups. And just make sure you follow our Instagram to stay up to speed on everything and see details of the whole trip. So speaking of Instagram, Ermasi Throttles is so excited about the trip that they're gonna sponsor our next Instagram giveaway, and we're gonna be giving away two custom throttles. So keep an eye on the Instagram for details. So on to the next awesome topic is new parts, and I've got a brand new exhaust system here from Rossier Engineering. I need to open this, so let's see what's inside. I love all the made in the USA packing tape. Wow. Man, it looks sweet. Oh, the can is like got a textured finish on it. Interesting. All right. Let's look at the other side. Ooh. <laughs> the finishing going into the muffler here, this is kind of different. I love how heavy duty it looks. I mean, the hardware here is super heavy duty. So Rossier has been under new ownership the last couple years and I had found out that they recently redesigned all their pipes. When I found that out, I was pretty intrigued and then I also learned that they have one of the top selling exhausts for the YFC 450 and I figured why not try out the new Raptor exhaust. So the current plan is to get a new FCI intake to pair with this new exhaust to get dyno numbers on the quad in its current state, do the new parts install, and then get dyno numbers again to see what the performance gains are with these new parts. I've never really done anything like this, so I'm super excited for the experience, and I cannot wait to see how the Raptor transforms. Another part I picked up is the CRF belly pan from GlandInnovations.com. John Gland is an experienced wood racer, and his company specializes in parts to protect your quad. Let's open it up and see how it looks. The plate is red, which is really cool. All right. It's like cutting board material. It does It does look like a cutting board. That's funny, actually. It's weird. I like don't want to scratch it, even though it's a freaking... That's skid, what it's going to do. It's a skid plate. Man, on a quality level, this looks awesome. Look at all these, like, like the nice recessed holes here, and it's kind of got this textured finish. So this is made of a high-end polymer. It's half an inch thick. They're also available in 3 8 inch and a variety of colors. So we have all of our mounting hardware here. I'm not entirely sure how this goes. There were no instructions in the box, but it, it should be pretty straightforward. We'll figure it out. It looks very heavy duty. There's these nice little rubber spacers in here. I'm assuming it's all going to flush mount very nicely. So let's install it and see how it compares to the factory belly pan. Here's the comparison, and it's obvious how much more protection there's going to be here. This part of the quad was completely exposed, so I'm probably going to have to slide these air guards down a little bit. This is going to be a massive upgrade over the factory setup, so let's get this thing on here. So this little metal lip is going to go over the front, and that's going to mount right underneath the bumper here. So we've got this other clamp. This is going to go on the frame rails right here. I definitely would advise having a buddy help you install this because it's kind of tricky to hold everything by yourself. So we've got the first kind of middle bolts in here that are bolted directly to the frame. We're going to put the next two in, get the clamps on the back, make sure it's all centered very nicely, and then we'll tighten the whole thing down. Making the small investment for some of these protective parts could really save you massive costs if there was like a really hard impact or you really damaged something. I mean, just spend 135 bucks on a part like this to protect everything is pretty priceless. So it should stand the test of time and we'll see what it looks like in a couple months. So I figured I'd give you a kind of a close up here. 
It's pretty crazy how far that sticks out from the frame. That's gonna be really nice. It's gonna be just massive peace of mind knowing that all that extra protection is on here. It would have been nice to have installed this right now, but we're gonna wait and get the dyno tune numbers and we'll see what this looks like just sitting next to the four wheeler here. Man, is it gonna look awesome on the back of the quad. Huge shout out to Rossier. I'm very excited to start a long-term relationship with them and to hopefully get you guys better deals on pipes. So I know there was quite a bit of info in this video. I'm super excited about some new parts here. There's gonna be more new parts. I'm so excited about this Florida trip. I'm so excited to meet Robert Ermasi and to see how his product works. A lot of people talk very highly of his throttle. Just another reminder that that Instagram giveaway is live right now, so be sure to check it out and hopefully it's the first of many giveaways this year. I know this wasn't a typical riding video, but there's gonna be a lot of riding coming up and it's important to get some of this prep work done too. And who doesn't like new parts? So as always, I really appreciate your guys' time today. I'm really looking forward to the future and we'll catch you on the next one.